Welcome, everyone. Uh, it's very nice to see so many people uh, here today uh, from all over the world. And uh, so it's going to be a meet and ask session, uh, meaning I will uh, try to uh, give a brief introduction about our program. Uh, who am I? I'm the academic director of the program. I'm an associate professor of uh, marketing analytics and digital business. And uh, I'm also acting as a program director of uh, business analytics and bachelor. Okay. Uh, so what, we'll do, what we will do today, uh, again, I will mainly talk about the content of the program, the courses in our program, uh, the curriculum in our program, the job prospects, uh, how it goes. So it's mostly content related. Uh, Please uh, keep in mind. If I, I, I can imagine, you have you may have lots of uh, admission uh, or application related questions. Uh, you can spare those questions uh, for the admissions related session right after this one. Okay? Then we will have our uh, admission officers and study advisors, and they will they can answer your questions about the admissions in the best way. Uh, so again, uh, as I said. My objective today is to have uh, to give you a good understanding of uh, what this program is all about, what kind of program uh, you can expect, and then accordingly, uh, we will uh, have done a good job if in the, by the end of this session you have a more clear mind, which will help you in making a decision and where to apply. Okay, so let's uh, start with a brief uh, introduction. So what is business analytics? Uh, of course, since you guys are all here, you're already interested uh, in this topic, and uh, you're right because uh, it's a relevant, valuable, and interesting topic. What is it about? But well, of course, it's about data. Uh, first and foremost, it's about the data. What do we do uh, in business analytics? Uh, in simple words, we combine analytics on the one side, the knowledge and information about business and economics on the other side, and also the information about computer science and programming in an integrative way. We combine this information. And so we do lots of things with data. We discover hidden patterns in large data sets. Uh, we build models to understand and predict people's behavior, but also uh, which can help us in answering business related uh, problems. So it's about uh, data driven decision making, which is very important in today's world. What do I mean by this and why this area, this domain has become so popular? Well, uh, first of all, we have a lot of data nowadays. And uh, so many of you may know big data is a kind of buzzword, but uh, it's not for nothing uh, because we can talk about lots uh, different types of data. On the one side, uh, of course, numbers, but when we say data, we also talk about unstructured data like videos, photos, textual data, speech data. So it's a whole big pool of data. and. On top of that, uh, we also have, uh, and we more and more have more clever and faster algorithms and better models to better understand this kind of data, to uh, understand, model, analyze, and report this data, again, which is relevant in the business. So this is also what this program is about. And finally, uh, we also have a faster, larger, and cheaper uh, processing power, computation power nowadays, better computers, better algorithms, uh, better softwares, so we can process the data in a nice way. So uh, this, all this together gives us a lot of opportunities to deal with the data and to use it in a good way, to, uh, which is relevant for business, economics, but also from a broader perspective for everything. Why is this bachelor? Again, uh, data is playing a crucial role nowadays, which is, in concrete words, data-driven decision-making. So business decisions, which we can base on data, is very important. So we make concrete decisions, solid decisions, which we can refer to data. Look, uh, this is data is telling us, okay? And we do it in different ways. Of course, we do it better if we combine analytics, business, and computer science and programming all together. We have new technologies, uh, new algorithms, better softwares, uh, better models to understand and use the data. And we have new and uh, innovative business models, which are substantially different from the old ones, which we need to learn about. And of course, all this comes together. Uh, and of course, there's a demand for uh, business analysts, competent uh, people with a background in business analytics. So there are very good job uh, opportunities 
in the field. This is the broader perspective, but let me give you some concrete examples. Of course, these are some examples. There may be many more because we, 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 we focus on many different fields and business. But I'd like to give you some concrete examples on what business analytics can be about. The first one is about uh, digital and online marketing. Maybe you, you may not have studied these kind of things, but you, we all know about the online advertising on mobile apps, on websites, platforms, affiliates, social media, everywhere. And we all know there's a kind of personalized targeting. Uh, so algorithms can decide or can be used in a better way to understand what we see and also how this advertising is priced. I'd like to show you a short video on how that happens. Uh, and also as if websites were newspapers, you'd buy the top banner at a specific site for a month, hoping to catch the eye of your target audience, praying for a few clicks along the way. A lot's changed. Today, it's about real-time bidding, or RTV. Advertisers now pay only for the impressions they want at the price they choose. It's all done automatically, in real time, with multiple buyers bidding for each impression, around the clock, on millions of sites. Lots of technology moving at blazing speeds. TLV Media makes sense of it all by analyzing billions of ad impressions a day, figuring out who's clicking on what, where, and what they did next. Our RTB engine programmatically makes over 200,000 decisions per second, analyzing over 200 parameters per user at 10 milliseconds per decision. It's the art of showing the right ads to the right folks. Watching user reactions, our algorithms evaluate the strategy, tweak the plan, check results, and start again to make it even better. How much better? We measured up to 420% better. Okay, I said also because uh, I was about to say it's also about real-time bidding and auctions uh, on online platforms. And it's also about showing the right ads to the right people. So uh, for example, in this, in this program, apart from the fundamental courses, we also have course about marketing and consumer analytics. Let's go a bit Is further. Website? Uh, I just told like five minutes ago, when we talk about data, it's not only about numbers. Most of the time nowadays, it's about unstructured data. And what is unstructured data? It's the videos it's, uh, that you see on YouTube. It's the photos that you see on uh, Instagram. It's the stories. And, and, and so we call it visual data. And of course, we also have a focus on visual uh, data analytics. We have some researchers here, also uh, good professors working on these kind of models and applications. And they try to understand what kind of visuals are more appealing to the customers. Is it the colors, the brightness, the vividness of the colors or objects of the ob objects that are visible in the visuals, which of them really matter and make a difference? So this is also an interesting, nice field in data analytics. We talk about business, but we also have a focus on broader issues. Uh, from a broader perspective, analytics is used and can be used also for uh, finding solutions to a broader uh, global problems like hunger, like uh, climate or fighting with poverty. So as a, uh, we have a course named Analytics for a Better World, then uh, Professor Hertog will give uh, amazing lectures on uh, how to use analytics for a better world, to find solutions for uh, global problems like hunger, climate, and et cetera, okay? And this course comes right at the first uh, place in the first year of the program. So it gives you a broader understanding of analytics and how broad the usage field can be in general. Thinking about analytics, I think uh, two things we need to mention. The one is AI, uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning, of course, but also we have an, an uh, ethical aspect of analytics, so responsible analytics. Uh, so we also have courses and exercises and cases about uh, how to use analytics from an an uh, ethical and responsible angle. I like to show you a very little example uh, how this could be applicable.
my guest this gives uh, some idea uh, we even have courses on uh, business flow and ethics on uh, about uh, business analytics and and uh, having said this again we have we will have a focus on ai uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning at some uh, point in this program uh, another example good example could be the fakes which some of you uh, may be already familiar with. It's uh, the manipulation of uh, video data, visual data in different ways. So as an example, some of our researchers here at the Amsterdam Business School, they do research on how uh, deep fakes and fake videos uh, influence people and how uh, this could be managed or how to avoid this. I'd, I'd like to show you this little example. Dear fellow scholars, this is Two Minute Papers with Dr. Karo Jona Ifeir. It is important for you to know that everybody can make deepfakes now. You can turn your head around, mouth movements are looking great, and eye movements are also translated into the target footage. And of course, as we always say, two more papers down the line and it will be even better and cheaper than this. Okay. Well, uh, as I said, these are some examples, okay? Now, uh, to give you a more concrete idea, maybe a broader idea, maybe more comprehensive uh, thinking, I'd like to show you uh, our curriculum a little bit. So how do we achieve this? How do we uh, teach or uh, for you students, how do you learn these things in this program, okay? So uh, this is what we call uh, ABC curriculum, but before going to that, I'd like to uh, briefly summarize what do you learn in this program uh, apart from the courses? Well, uh, the whole process of business and data analytics, okay? And when I say business analytics, do not only think of analyzing the data. Well, if, of course, it's an important part of it, but the whole process starts with asking the right questions. So we have a business situation, a business case, and uh, we spot some problems and we ask the right questions. How can we solve this problem? How can we come with uh, data-driven uh, decision support in this particular pro uh, problem, okay? As long as we uh, put the problems in the right way, then we know which data to uh, collect. Then we learn about preparing the data, structuring the data, collecting the data, the next step. And the next step is, of course, uh, managing and analyzing this data. So it's building models, uh, discovering patterns in the data. Okay, uh, building predictive models, causal models. What is causing what? How can we predict what will happen in this uh, business field in a couple of years, in a couple of months? Then it doesn't end there, but uh, we continue with uh, reporting. How do we report or visualize these results? And last but not the least, communicating these results with the managers because the analytics process does not end when you report the results. But as business analytics people, we also need to be able to communicate this with other people, managers, business people, non-technical people. So this is about the whole process, right? So uh, we achieve this by building and using this ABC curriculum, as we call it. A uh, means analytics, B business, and C computer science and programming, okay? This is a quite unique, curriculum that we have developed. We, we have spent a lot of time developing, improving. Uh, so we try to uh, have this balanced curriculum, very well balanced curriculum, which can teach you different pillars of business analytics and data science, okay? On the one side, we have analytics, which will refer to mathematics, statistics, econometrics, and operations research, and also probability theory, okay? So this will give you uh, the skills and knowledge to analyze the data, the mathematical knowledge. And then we have the business pillar, which is equally important. Since this is a business analytics program, we will need to know how to apply these analytical methods and techniques in business problems. So we have courses combining analytics with finance, marketing, human resources, entrepreneurship, economics, strategy, and operations. So we take the business aspect very seriously. And then of course, 
we know how to analyze the data. We know about the business domains, but it's also important to know about how do we program or how do we deal with data? So this is the pillar about uh, computer science and programming. In this pillar, we have courses about the uh, first introduction to programming, of course, programming, algorithms and data structures, Python, and then uh, data processing, text retrieval and mining, machine learning, artificial intelligence. So this will give you quite an integrative uh, background. And as you see, it comes this way. We have some courses which are focusing on particularly one aspect of this ABC curriculum, but we have also integrative courses where two of these uh, pillars overlap and come together, like AB courses, where analytics and business meet, like marketing analytics, like uh, operations research, okay? We even have courses where ABC meets, analytics, business, and computer science and programming. Analytics for a better word is one of uh, these kind of courses, entrepreneurship and hackathon, and also machine learning. And we also have courses where A and C meets, like algorithms and data structures in Python. So you, 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 you are programming computer science data structures with a twist of analytics by applying your analytical knowledge. So let's go very shortly through the program. The first year is mostly, of course, about basics, okay? You learn, you build on what you've learned in the high school. So it's mathematics one, calculus, mathematics two, linear algebra. You also start to build up in your knowledge about probability theory and statistics. But already in the beginning, we have courses that represent our program, like analytics for a better word, okay? But it's more about the basics the first year. Second year, we specialize. We go deeper and broader. Now we still have some more advanced courses on analytics and computer science, like mathematics three or, 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 or uh, econometrics one, but we have this time more specialized and integrative courses like operations research, like machine learning, like algorithms and data structures in Python and age analytics. Year three is gonna be about making choices some decisions. The first semester is quite flexible uh, in a rich way. Uh, so you can either choose to go for an international internship or international exchange program, or you can stay at UFA, ABS, in the first semester of the third year. You can follow some minor uh, program or you can follow some electives uh, about the topics that you have already started to learn about. Okay, second semester is of course the thesis and some more advanced courses on marketing analytics, text retrieval and mining and computer systems and engineering. So what you see, the long story short overall, you see in this three year program, if a well balance of analytics business and computer science alone or com com by coming together. So you may immediately ask, what is the difference from other programs? How do we differ from other programs that may be focusing on some similar issues, some similar topics? We believe, we think we have a quite unique program because we have uh, substantial differences from the others in many ways. But here, to give you some examples on some programs that you may think, okay, what is the difference with econometrics? What is the difference with industrial engineering or uh, in Dutch techniques of a drive scandal? Well, let's start with econometrics. It's correct that in our program, you have a very strong background in econometrics. We have good econometrics courses that you learn real econometrics, but econometrics program focus mainly on micro and microeconomics, right? But here we have uh, so much focus on business, business analytics. We also have course on marketing, HR, entrepreneurship, and finance. Plus, we also have a focus on computer science and programming, which is less of a focus in econometrics program. When it comes to industrial engineering, well, in most industrial engineering programs, the main focus is on uh, operations research, supply chain, and or logistics, okay? Again, in this program, we have more broader and deeper focus on business uh, topics and business courses, like finance, marketing, HR, entrepreneurship, and accounting. And uh, as a, in addition to that, we also have a further focus on machine learning and artificial intelligence. 
which is uh, different than industrial engineering programs. Two other programs which may be uh, somewhat similar or which may sound somewhat similar. Of course, naturally, the other one is business analytics program at Fry University at Amsterdam. It's also a good program, but it's offered by mathematics department, okay? But our program is a joint venture of Faculty of Economics and Business and Amsterdam Business School. So in Feiyu and uh, in the other business analytics program at Free University, they don't have so much focus on econometrics, whereas we have that focus. Okay, and they have less emphasis on business education, like other programs that I uh, give some examples about differences, we have a significant focus on business education, like finance, HR, marketing, entrepreneurship, apart from this. Plus, uh, we they offer a two-year master program. We have our uh, one-year master program accredited this year. So after uh, following our business analytics program, you can start our you can start and follow our one year master program in business analytics. And finally, artificial intelligence program. Well, they have no focus on econometrics and or optimization operations research. We have that focus in our curriculum. Econometrics and operations research related courses uh, have a, a significant role. Okay, and. Again, like others, like any other program that I give as examples, we have more emphasized on the business field. Again, we have a three pillar program, which we call integrative or ABC, pro, uh, ABC curriculum, analytics, business, and computer science. And of course, having such a uh, unique and nice program, of course, this will give us uh, some good career and job prospects. What could be those? Well, primarily, of course, the graduates of our program will have a good uh, chance in the corporate on the corporate side. Business analysts, uh, well, competent business analysts are always sought in uh, mobile telecom, IT, banking, finance, insurance industry, consumer goods, energy sector. So you can uh, find jobs easily on the corporate side. Plus you can uh, easily find jobs in consultancy or research institutions. Well, uh, some people choose to go to nonprofit or government side, that is also an option. And it's also technically speaking, but also of course it, it will need some, maybe some more experience, but it's always possible to start your own company, okay? But for those who want to go further, we also have a master program in business analytics and data science, so you can build on what you have, uh, what you learned in bachelor, and you can continue with the master program. And uh, salary prospects for uh, junior and senior business analytics people are quite good. Since this is a business analytics program, of course, we have lots of business partners. Well, partners meaning we collaborate, we cooperate in many ways. They're supporting our program. Uh, these are some examples, some companies and governmental institutions. In many ways, they, uh, they give us advice. We have an advice report. They give uh, guest lectures in our uh, courses. They provide us data, cases, assignments uh, for our courses. Uh, plus, maybe more importantly, they help uh, students to find intern internships and further uh, jobs by recruiting actively from our program. This is not uh, my part, but I like to tell you again, after this session, there will be an admission related specific session. I uh, strongly advise you to also join to that one because then you can find answers to any of your questions about admissions and application. But uh, just to say a few words, well, our requirement is of course, uh, based on mathematics, uh, proficiency and also language, okay? But what are those? Because, you know, this may differ from country to country, being a Dutch or non-Dutch student, EU or non-EU student, this may differ. So then I refer you to our uh, admission officers and uh, in, in which you can uh, ask your questions in the admission session. But it's good to know, keep in mind that the application deadline for non-EU uh, students, applicants is 1st of April, 2022, and application deadline for uh, Dutch or EU students is 1st of May, 2022. And our admission session will start at four o'clock today. 
So uh, I think I've talked enough about the program, uh, the curriculum, the courses, the job prospects, the career. Now I'd like to talk a bit about the city, Amsterdam, uh, studying in the Netherlands, in Holland, and our university, University of Amsterdam. Why should you choose this university? Well, let me summarize this way. First of all, our university, University of Amsterdam, always have a good place in uh, worldwide rankings, in global rankings of universities. For example, according to one of the latest rankings, we have the 55, uh, number 55, and according to another one, we are number 62, Times Higher Education Ranking worldwide in terms of business education. Okay, so we are a good university, not only in terms of teaching, but also in terms of uh, research and also in terms of executive uh, education and business collaborations. Number two, Amsterdam is a good city. It's a nice city to live in. And uh, maybe you may have uh, seen it. Uh, according to some rankings, uh, it ranked one of the top cities to uh, livable cities in terms of light quality uh, in the world. So it's a nice city to live in. And uh, of course, further, it's a multicultural city. Here, there are people from all around the world, from all cultures, from all nationalities. And that is also perfectly represented in our school. And I will show you another slide afterwards. And uh, then maybe that will uh, represent better what I say. It's also about our program. And as a university, we also have excellent student facilities. So what are they? Well, we have study advisors, which advise students, help students in their uh, problems or questions about their studies. Plus, it's not only about the studies. Of course, we have student clubs and uh, you also have many social events and social activities, which students do enjoy a lot. This is the slide I'm talking about. So this is, uh, we have our first cohort of students this year in business analytics program. But if you look at the nationalities, it's perfectly balanced. You see one third of our students in business analytics program are Dutch students, it's 30, uh, 33, 37, uh, sorry, 33%. Another one third is international students from the EU area, European Union, different European countries. Another one third is non-EU students. Those are students from all over, like from America, Latin America, Turkey, Russia, or, or, or Asia. So we have a very rich student profile representing all nationalities. Uh, if you compare with the other, uh, let's say analytical or technical programs, we also have a good balance between uh, female and male students. Summarizing, well, we offer a unique program. We believe that because we worked hard on it. Uh, we believe it's representing a, 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 a quite a valuable area in, in business analytics, combining analytics business and computer science in a balanced, nice way, which will uh, offer a nice education. Plus uh, we do it in a very nice setting where we cooperate with uh, business partners, companies. It is a good university to study in and it's a nice city to live in. Okay, but uh, of course, uh, it is up to you now to make a decision by also considering what you want to do, uh, what kind of program you expect, and also by considering the differences with similar programs. Uh, but then if uh, you are interested, you are more than welcome. So now I'd like to give the floor to one of our uh, first year students, Melis. He's, she's here with us today. Uh, thank you, Melis, for being here. Uh, maybe she can tell you a little bit about her experience. And uh, yeah, Melis, hi. Thank you so much for having me. Um, hi guys, I'm Melis. Um, I'm a first year business analytics student here at the UFA. Um, I'm originally from Turkey, but I've actually lived in Dubai for the past eight years or so. So my high school experience has also been very quite international. Um, I remember being in this exact meet and ask session last year, actually, um, I joined it just like you guys just kind of trying to decide like what I wanted to do with my life. Um, and I know the university application process can be extremely stressful. Um, I personally applied to around like 18 or 19 universities just across the US, Canada and Europe and things like that. So just to merely to keep my options open and making sure that I made the right decision in the end. 
And um, choosing Ufa wasn't necessarily an easy decision for me, but um, now that I'm here, I know it was definitely the right one. <laughs> I had like long pros and cons list about why I wanted to go here and why I didn't and everything um, with all the other universities as well. And Uva was the one that always stood out to me. And um, in terms of business analytics, um, I always liked maths in high school. It was always my favorite subject. Um, so I kind of wanted to do something in the future where I could apply um, like maths into something that's a bit more tangible and useful in real life. And after joining the session, actually, I kind of found out that business analytics kind of offered me exactly that. Um, I didn't have much background in computer science or business before, but honestly, you don't really need it. Everything that you need is kind of taught as you go along within the program. Um, my favorite thing about the course, honestly, is the fact that it's a bit multidisciplinary. Um, like it was explained before, um, it offers a lot of kind of different um, variety of subjects like computer science and things like that. And even though I'm only in my first year, I've only completed about like just past half of it. I've already been exposed to like a lot of maths, a lot of statistics. We did some economics, some finance, some coding here and there. So. I already have a pretty good idea of like what this course is about and I'm only in my first year. So I feel like that's, it kind of keeps it fun as well. So we have like uh, blocks at UVA that um, every block our subjects change. And instead of just doing maths and then maths again, and then maths again, this course kind of offers that like flexibility and just kind of keeps things interesting in terms of your learning. Um, and obviously I'm here to, give you guys some insight and be honest with you guys. And I'm not gonna lie, the course is quite challenging. Um, like the standard of learning that we're doing and the content that we're learning in the subjects is a bit difficult, but obviously that doesn't come without saying that if you do invest enough time into it and if you do plan your studies and kind of know um, your way around the subject, it's definitely very doable. So it's not impossible. It just does require that bit of effort kind of um, to get past, uh, especially in your first year out of high school. Um, it's a bit of a shock at first, but um, honestly, the things you learn are very valuable. So it's definitely worth it. And also going through all the stress and kind of the workload, um, it can, like the course itself offers very, very good job prospects in the future. And I'm not saying that that should be solely your reason for choosing this study, but it definitely was one of my indicators as to why I did it. Just kind of having that job security at the end of all this hard work that you're going to have to put in um, is definitely an important factor to consider. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much it for me. Um, if you guys have any questions, I'm happy to answer them at the end. Uh, Melis, thank you a lot. Uh, Melis is also a member of our student panel. We have a student panel which we uh, collect real-time feedback from students after each block, which is also a nice way, nice way of further improving our program. So I, I, I also want to note that on the side. Yeah. Uh, Melis, if they have uh, some questions that you can answer, uh, maybe better uh, than maybe... Uh, uh, you can, uh, yeah, take the word again. Yeah. So now uh, I think it's time for some questions, if I'm correct. Uh, so let's uh, take some questions. And uh, Marianne, if I start by uh, going through the open questions. That yes. That ends for the end. Um, yes, I have one question that is was already asked in the beginning. So I want to ask you that one, uh, Umut, if that's okay. Uh, the question is, is business analytics bachelor focused more towards management position role uh, with, uh, if you compare it to, for example, computer science? Could you say something about that, whether it prepares for a management role? In comparison to a bachelor in computer science, meaning. Mm -hmm. Well, very honest answer. You can be uh, in a management position uh, by the end of uh, any kind of study if you go towards that direction, okay? But... Let me put it this way. Uh, maybe we give uh, we have more courses on uh, which which can which can which can steer you towards that side in a management position. But it's not a management program, right? But we have more focus on management and business, which will help in the future. Well, a computer scientist learn computer science. It's programming only. 
we do learn programming and computer science as well, but we also have management uh, and business related courses, which may be uh, possibly helpful uh, along the way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah clear answer. Um, and there's uh, uh, another student and uh, the question is, how many hours of lectures do you have in a week and seminars and how many hours of self-study? Uh, Umut, could you say something about it? And then after that, maybe Melis to share your Maybe Melis can answer that better oh, yeah. because so Perfect. UFA, in the Netherlands, we have blocks, okay? Uh, we have long blocks, we have short blocks. For example, September, October, one block, then uh, November, December, another block, two months. So it's not, there are semesters, but within semesters, there are blocks. And then January, then February, March block, April, May block. And in 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 in, in long blocks, which is like two months, we have two courses, okay? And uh, the number of hours depends, but uh, it's it's mostly doable. In short blocks, we have one course. So you either have two or one course, depending on the block at the same time. So uh, which makes uh, the study load doable? Self-study, well, on course syllabus, we indicated, but let's be honest, depends on, the, on your background on each subject. If, uh, if you are, uh, for example, mathematics one, it may happen that you may need 10 hours, but it may also happen that you may need 25 or 30 hours. Depends on your interest, your current background, and many other factors, right? Melissa, do you have something to add on? Yeah, um, I mean, I can just give a personal example. Um, we, for, uh, like right now, I have around 12 to 14 hours a week of actual classes. So that's like lectures and webinars and tutorials and things like that. And I would say like I do about two to three hours extra during weekdays and maybe four extra hours like in the weekend. And that's going pretty well. So, <laughs> yeah, that would be my input to that. OK, thanks, Benis. Yeah, thank you. Melis, I have directly another question for you, specific, specifically for you. What would you say was your biggest challenge at the start of the program? And what skills do you think are really important to have to be successful? Um, so uh, I would assume everyone's challenges were kind of dif different. Um, personally, mine was a bit of an unexpected one because I've always really, really liked maths in high school and um, I was always like really confident in it. But the maths at uni, like the jump was quite challenging for me, um, but um, I still passed. So it's definitely still doable. Um, it was just kind of a shock to start with. Um, and what was the second part of that question? What are, what are the skills? Yeah, you um, need to be successful, yeah. Yeah, so prior skills before coming to this course um i think just the ones that are indicated on the course's website and obviously having that kind of maths background so um is definitely helpful you don't necessarily need a computer science background um they actually do recommend for you to not have one just so like you can start fresh um or that's what i've heard from my professors um, but obviously it does help if you do but um you don't necessarily need it you also don't need, really need a business background to be successful in it, just because we kind of get everything taught from scratch um, that is specific to business analytics. So, yeah, that would be all. Yeah, just a few words on that. Uh, made this very, you, you, you summarized very well. Yes, uh, we, we, we teach from the scratch. Okay, this is a bachelor program. This is not a master program. So if, if we have a computer science programming component, that means we, we teach uh, uh, programming and computer science from the scratch. You don't have to have a background. Well, you may be already interested in coding, in Python, fine, good for you. Then you can have a maybe a little easier start, but that is not needed. Uh, th this program is designed to start from scratch. Yes. Okay. Any other questions? Um, yes, I think you uh, said a little bit about it already, but what would be the difference between business analytics and business administration? Yeah, I did not. I, I, I explained differences between uh, our program and econometrics, industrial engineering, and, 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 and the other business analytics program. This is uh, maybe the easiest one. Uh, it, we are totally different. This is not a business, ad, uh, this is not a business administration or uh, uh, management program. Well, we are, well, they, if you look at their curriculum, 
uh, they have business uh, related courses, economics related courses, strategy. Look, we have an analytical and computer science programming component, which they don't have in business administration. So this is relatively a much more analytical program with a lot more focus on also uh, computer science and programming. Yeah, yeah. with business. Yeah, clear answer. In the yeah, and if we take business economics into account, can you say something about that as well? Well, again, uh, the, the, the difference is very uh, clear. Uh, it is a economics focused. It's a program with a pure focus on economics. So microeconomics, microeconomics, different aspects of economics, quantitative economics. We have economics in our program, but again, it's a ABC integrative curriculum. We have business and economics, yes, but we also have a lot of mathematics, econometrics, operations research, and statistics on the one side. On the other side, programming, computer science, data structures, so that, that pillar, yeah. Yeah, very clear, yes. Uh, and then I think for now, uh, the last question, is this program more intended to work in the Netherlands or internationally? Well, I would say, well, technically speaking, Netherlands is also a part of the world, but yeah, well, it depends on, I mean, whether you're a foreign stu international student or local student, you can work anywhere, okay? It's not, uh, or uh, easier answer, it's not intended or designed to, uh, to, so that you can have a position easier in the Netherlands. Yes, well, you study in the Netherlands, maybe practically for practical reasons, it's easier, but we have lots of international students and many of our students uh, later on go and work elsewhere. So this is always possible. Yeah. 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 Well, very clear, clear answer. Um, okay, I saw one last one coming in. I think it's nice to ask that one as well. Can I quickly like answer a... these two questions yeah. very, very quickly? Yeah, of uh, Okay, we are, uh, so is there heavier statistics or calculus mat? Uh, of course, we don't have the definition of heavy, uh, but Melis is, 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 is smiling uh, there. Well, we, we are serious in statistics and uh, mathematics. Let me put it this way. The, the mathematics and statistics background you get in this program is good. Of course, uh, it may require some uh, hard work. This is that answer. The other one, what jobs do most students do after college? Well, uh, I don't know the exact numbers, but most students to build experience, they go and work on the corporate side, on uh, agencies, companies, corporations, uh, the, in different industries. But of course, many other students go and follow the master program, many other students uh, go and work in, uh, but I think the majority goes to corporate side at first, but then of course the career continues. Is it possible to change the business administration? If yes, how hard it is? Shall I? We don't have such a switch regulation. No, uh, no. Because the, the, the two programs are quite different from each other. Eva, well, it's difficult to answer this question. We, 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 after our program, there are perfect job opportunities. That's probably similar for econometrics, but it depends on what you want to do as a job, right? It's not that the graduates of one program has less chance in business market, but let me put it this way. In business analytics, you have a broader uh, playground. You have a broader uh, path. You can go this or that or that way. And then econometrics, which is a perfect program, but it's more focused to one uh, particular direction. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, so the questions are still coming in. Keep them coming. I think we can also say something about uh, what to do next, what, what everyone here can do to uh, prepare for uh, yeah, for making a decision. And I think we have a slide about that as well. Yeah, uh, just one last thing, yeah. safe to focus equally. Is it safe to say that degree is focused equally? Uh, we don't measure that, but it's balanced. Uh, so we have a good balance between A, B and C, okay? So let's go to the next uh, slide then. 
like you said. Um, yeah. yeah. What is next? Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, so I will tell you all something about that. What is next uh, to help you make the perfect decision? Um, I hope that you all have a very clear overview of what this uh, program can be for you, what it, uh, yeah, what it contains. Um, so we very much, um, yeah, uh, would say explore all your options, explore our program online and compare programs. So good that, go do that to make a perfect uh, decision. Um, if you are in the Netherlands now, uh, you have the option to uh, go to the uh, campus tours to have an idea of, well, where you're going to study. Uh, this is already tomorrow. Uh, so if you're in the Netherlands, please register for it. Uh, go there so you can see our beautiful, uh, beautiful campus. Um, we have the online experience day. Uh, there you will have a taste of what it's like to be a student um, here, a business uh, student. So um, you can enroll for that. You will get a lecture and a tutorial. I think, Umut, you will give the lecture. Or... Yes, um, uh, yeah. together with Dick Tanharto, uh, oh, yeah. professor of, uh, yeah, the, the professor of teaching analytics for a better world. So it's going to be yeah. a, like a demo, demo lecture. Yeah. I will also be there. Uh, I will also give some more information. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, so you really get an idea of what it's like to, uh, to study. Um, and um, well, if you uh, if you want to do this program, uh, go apply. Uh, that would be the last step. Uh, the deadline for that is the first April. Um, yeah, so make your decision. Uh, see what you what you want to do, and uh, yeah, and enroll for these experiences. Um, yeah, I think that's it for today. Um, so uh, thanks everyone. Uh, thanks Marianne, thanks Millis and all the other colleagues who are here now. They are actively answering questions in the meanwhile. And again, there will be another so session specific to admissions uh, about uh, admissions and applications after this one. But for now, uh, I'd like to thank you all for joining today. I hope we could inform you uh, sufficiently, uh, which can help you in your decision-making. So I'd like to thank you uh, on behalf of our Dean myself and all uh, my colleagues here and uh, Melis, our student, and uh, hope to see you in our program in the next year. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.